Hey everyone, in this video we're going to give an introduction to what Lewis structures are in chemistry, what we use them for, and why they are important for us to understand. So, as we have been talking about in the past few videos, understanding where our electrons are commonly found within our atom is very important. The reasoning for this is that electrons in the outermost shell are typically the most reactive electrons as our atom is always wanting to become more stable. So, it will either give away or take electrons from a neighboring atom in an effort to better stabilize itself. This outermost shell of our atom's electron cloud is called the valence shell, and it is a shell that will be the sole focus when creating Lewis structures. But what are Lewis structures, or Lewis dot structures? Well, Lewis structures are simply a model for us to use to easily visualize what the valence shell of an atom or compound looks like, and allow us to better understand how the atom, ion, or compound will react in the presence of another all in an effort to become more stable. Let's quickly draw a Lewis structure and then we can talk about why we create them. So, let's just look at an electron configuration of a ground state oxygen atom. So, as we discussed previously, oxygen has a 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 electron configuration. So, to draw the Lewis structure for our oxygen atom, we will use dots to represent the valence electrons. Each dot represents a single electron. We typically draw four sites around our atom, each of which can hold two spin-paired electrons. So, if we were to draw the Lewis structure for neon, for example, a noble gas, it would have a completely filled and stable valence shell like so. For our oxygen atom, we have six valence electrons, and it'll look like this. We never include any electrons in our Lewis structure that aren't valence electrons. As we stated earlier, Lewis structures are a model that allows us to better understand how atoms, ions, and compounds will react and interact with one another, and we will get into more detail in this in the future. But as a quick example, consider if we had another oxygen atom present here. Well, our oxygen atoms both only have six valence electrons. They would both much be happier with eight electrons, so how do they accomplish this? Well, these two atoms can actually share electrons with one another. This is called a covalent bond, when our atoms are sharing a set of electrons. And in a Lewis structure, we denote this with a line like so. We will talk more about these bonds and other types of bonds in the future, just for now understand that this is more stable and a preferable configuration for both of our atoms. Although that helped, both of our atoms still have a single unpaired electron. So what will our atoms do? Well, they just share another pair of electrons like they did previously, and this creates what we call a double bond. And there we go, this is our most stabilized form of O2. And this is the most common form of oxygen and the stuff that you breathe in every day. In the coming videos, we will talk about the procedure for creating a Lewis structure and be completing lots of examples related to Lewis structures. So I will leave a link to the playlist in the description down below if you're interested. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, Please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.